all right guys welcome back to the channel so today what we're going to be doing is coating the bmw f30 temperature of the wheels when it comes to when you're driving the car and you want to check the temperature so i'll actually show you what exactly it's done um, in the car specifically and what we're going to be doing next so the app actually that we're using is beamer code and um, if you want to know a lot more about beamer code or what adapter we're using or whichever go into my previous videos there on part one i've actually lost count i think this is part seven of the video there has been a few that i've done today just to get it out the way because i wanted it all coded and if you want to know the full story of why i'm coding the whole car again check out part one so here we are guys we are in the iDrive so basically what you'd want to do is we head back say you're in the main menu you'd want to hit on vehicle information so once you hit on the vehicle information you would want to go on to vehicle status so this is it guys what you see is the bar which is a PSI and also what you don't see is the temperature of the wheels itself so the reason actually you can't see my one is because I haven't got TPMS sensors put in my wheels because when I actually bought the car and I changed the wheels I forgot to actually take my TPMS sensors out and put them in the new ones. So I have no TPMS sensors now so yeah. But our way if you do this and you have TPMS sensors it is a pretty cool feature to have. So basically what it's shown now it's the bar and next of all it's going to show us the bar and temperature so what you'd want to do is we will get into beamer code now and code that and show you how it's easily done now we just launched the app there so basically we are in beamer code so what you'd want to do is when you plug your little adapter into the ecu module you'd want to connect it up via wi-fi or bluetooth so we have it connected up to wi-fi and um, so what you want to do next is once it's all connected hit connect and connect the adapter usually guys this does take about 40 seconds to about a minute to connect up but since we're actually been using it for a while now and been into the app already it just launches a lot faster so yeah guys once you get into it you'll see a lot of vehicles to choose from so depending on what car you're actually using it on that's the car you'd want to choose so you have i3s, 7 series, x1s, mini coupers, x5s so the car that we're using today is as is now BMW F30 so what you want to do is click on the BMW 3 series M3 for F30 so you can see the models that are actually there so next thing you'd want to do is hit OK so once you hit OK it'll actually start connecting up to it and reading the ECU itself So here we are guys, we finally got into the electronic control unit. So this is when you got into the front main menu, this is what you'll see, air conditioning, front electronic module, head unit, instrumental clusters, rear electronic module, uh, roof for sunroofs, alarms and things like that is all in the front page. So the thing that we're going to be doing today is, as I said, we're going to be doing the bar and pressure of the tires. So that's what we're going to be coding in. So it actually has the temperature. If you hit from all them, go on to head unit. So we're just going to hit head unit there. Once that is loaded up there, as you seen, basically what we're going to be doing is so at the very start you will see there that there is audio for ringtones daytime running lights display options what you'd want to actually go into is tire pressure control so as you can see there click onto that now you will see normally depending on what car it is i think you have display pressure only so what we are coding now is display temperature and pressure so what you'd want to click on is that and hit OK. So once you hit that for coding, so what you'd want to see up in the right top corner, you will see code. Start coding. That's it. Car is gonna start doing his own thing now. We in the ECU and start coding. Guys, just to let you know as well, don't be afraid if your car starts actually revving up itself, the idea starts going mental, it does. 
the gauges start revving up uh, and you can see them actually going 90 do not be afraid it's perfectly normal the car actually is doing its own thing and um, once it actually finishes cut and everything go back to normal the car has no issues it's perfectly normal the way it was what you'd want to do is head to the very front so if we go you go back hit back again and disconnect right guys so the coding has been complete as you've seen there it is easy simple process nothing too crazy and um, possible to do anyone can really do it we echoes that got coded i'm looking at it now it's all done so basically i'm going to flip the camera and show you what it's actually like and what you've actually coded we're basically in the iDrive. What you'd want to do is go to vehicle status. And once you go into vehicle status, what we've seen before is just the bar. You could not see the little temperature at the bottom of it. So as I said, I have no TPMS sensor, so I actually can't display this and show you what it looks like because I need TPMS sensors. So once you actually code this, it's a cool little feature. You'll actually see the temperature of your, um, wheels so you'll know the heat of them and if it's heating up or what's wrong with them and also the psi so that will be it all done it's all coded now and um, as i said it's perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with coding your car and um, don't be afraid as i said if you start seeing anything wrong with it it's perfectly normal it's just the ecu just acting up so it actually goes through the process but simple play uh, simple process of coding and just go by the steps that I've showed you there. Nothing too hard, simple stuff. But guys, please leave a like, do subscribe if you are new, so you never miss a video. New thing as well, do hit that post notification so you actually see once I actually upload a video, so you never miss it actually as well. Um, but yeah, I think this is part seven by now. I'm not really sure what part this is, but go check out my previous videos on other coding stuff if you wanna learn how to code. Um, different stuff on your BMW or whatever model it is other than that I'll see you in the next video